always good to see another hero of the tower. Excuse me. Why can't those rookies in the Crucible be more like you? Because, Lord Shaq. No Die, Blueberry. As you can tell, Lord Shax, I am inevitable. What, what's up, big YouTube? Skills here, In today's video, we're gonna go over my Arc 3.0 build for the season. And yes, it might be the, some of them might be the same, or some of, you know, some of them you, know, you might be familiar of. But today, it's finally time, and, and it's time. And I know I was pretty well aware of this one. So let's, so let's hop to it. Yeah, so there's, so this is build, the first build I'm going to use, you know, going to feature, is Doom Marchers, without a doubt. Doom Marchers, without a doubt, in my opinion, the king of R3.0. Well, other than that, it's either the, either the Synthos, or <laughs> synth the Synthoseps are heart of the most light. But... First off, we're gonna be hey, we're gonna be using Doom Marchers to feature this. Yeah. So if you so if you're wondering, yes, this is a yeah, this is a triple statted, a triple hunter statted uh, Titan. Mo mobility, resilience, discipline, and and half a little strength. But crap, intellect because intellect is useless. I'm playing. It can be useful, but mostly recovery at this point. But yeah, but so what you want to want is either is either thrusters mainly thrusters uh, because we won't let these slow us down I use ca I use catapult well, and plus seismic strike what's also good is somehow a niche is thunderclap but that's very situational so uh, ballistic slam too it doesn't matter your super of choice is either way yeah, neither one of them and plus we're going to be using and yeah, plus we're going to be main our aspect is mainly using knockout now because if you have knockout you have yeah, critically wounded a target breaking the she yeah, is if you see your melee attacks with arc energy and it increases your melee range and damage for a short time defeating targets with melee attacks starts health regenerating and makes you amplify hi right, you yeah, so it really doesn't matter with the doom marchers if it's pvp or pve but if it's PVE, I'd rather go touch a thunder, or uh, touch a thunder or storm grenade. I mean, storm grenades reasons. It's because um, our grenades gain these amount of benefits. Flashbang, flashbang estimates an additional uh, blinding flash of bounce. Uh, pulse grenades uh, creates an ionic trace uh, periodically as it damages targets and increases damage over time. Lightning grenades grants an additional. Will second grenade charge and jolts target by hit, uh, by hit uh, by the initial blast. Uh, storm grenade after detonating create, uh, creates a Roman thundercloud that tra uh, that tracks uh, target hit and fires bolts of lightning at foes beneath it. This this expat is really really good for grenade for a grenade build such as mine since we already have a hundred a uh, hundred <coughs> discipline. Or basically more than 100 in discipline. For example, we were already prepared ourselves uh, for uh, for the spark of shock. But however, the tip about it is that if you use touch of thunder and you decided to go, for example, lightning grenades as my favorite grenades, you basically don't need spark of shock, which means it gives you plenty other breathing room for other uh, for others such as. Uh, you know, spark of vaults. You know, you know, to buff out our recovery, or even, or even spark of recharge. Spark of focus is an is a anti, is kind of repetitive in my opinion. Yes, you gain, yes, you gain class ability energy, but our uh, class ability, uh, we're already getting it back to back due to 100 resilience. So spark of focus is pretty much, uh, pretty much an anticlimactic no. Yeah, no, but so either spark a recharge or even spark a or even spark a vault. And then we're gonna be using you know, feed spark of feedback 
Taking melee damage briefly increases your out outgoing melee. Always a priority. Gives you hey, gives you 100 Brazil. Easy 100. Hey, spark of resistance while hey, while surrounded by combatants, you are hey, you are more resistant to incoming damage. Hey, damage. It, and then spark the magnitude. Always have spark of magnitude if you're running touch of thunder Be yeah, because it, it because it does affect pulse lightning storm grenades yeah, storm grenades they will have a longer duration yeah they will have a longer duration but if you're going if you're going for juggernaut tree which gives you yeah, which basically gives you a full class of yeah, ability energy and get yeah, you can gain and gain an overshield. You gain a frontal shield that blocks incoming damage. And when the frontal shield breaks, your class ability your energy is depleted. Hit aka aping intensified. Hey, then you basically only need all these aspects. These top three aspects. Yeah, spark of resist, spark of feedback, and spark of shock. Yeah, which means which means don't worry there will be plenty of other grenades that will be good for an aggressive play i would say in my opinion lightning grenades in my opinion are the best arc bolts uh, skip your skip grenade pulse storm grenades either way either way though but that is the build now what now how can i fully utilize this one and as do marchers so let's just say if i'm not wearing spark of shock if i'm wearing spark of shock and let's just say i have 10 touch of thunder i could just have spark of volts just for extra recovery yeah, just for extra recovery uh spark of recharge is cool but it requires you to be critically wounded it, you're wounded so it's not really that great unless you're running mask of the quiet one but so in other cases it will be the build like this almost you see almost a hundred a hundred more 110 mobility yeah i would have had to spec into strength a little bit more i probably would have gone for quadruple stats hey if that was the case so this is what it looks like when you're not wearing spark of shock when you have when you're using knockout aspect and touch of thunder hey and touch a thunder and lightning grenades but uh, but if you are using it but if you are using it if you are using spark of shock it will be different 100 100 discipline in over 111 discipline it will still be up to 100 discipline and to be that ready you know, ready now and now that's it for the build for the Doom Marchers. What is good for Arc 3.0 weapons? What is your Arc weapons? Here's the sad thing. <laughs> I don't use Arc weapons unless you're going to count as main ingredient being used, but I never used it because <laughs> I would get hate mail. But either way, but either way, my Arc 3.0 weapon in general is my favorite. Ragon Hill D. Yeah, Ragon Hill D shotgun. Yeah. And an enhanced perpetual motion, enhanced perpetual motion, and enhanced elemental capacitor with, yeah, with quick access sling and quick charge. This is my arc 3.0. However, if I'm going PVE, I will go Wastelander, Waste, Wastelander M5 uh, that provides us a uh, one two punch. That will provide us only one two punch. punch. And yes, I am running Mythic Class. You know, running mythical class because it synergizes it really good with you know, with quick charge and since I'm running shotgun and quick charge. But either way, you know, but either way, let's head up to the other build. All right, our fine. The next one is for PVE mainly. Yeah, I can use this one in PVP. But this next one is going to be Heart of Inmost Light. Hey, build. Now we, now that I got this Heart of Inmost Light, this will be. Yeah, this one is going to be good. Yeah, or should I say, this is this build I'm going to be calling I mean, Heart of the Storm. This, 
Yeah, this one is going to require knockout and touch of thunder. Yeah, and then these require fragments. You're going to need spark of mat, spark of shock, spark of magnitude, the rest of the aspects, and spark of resistance. This, this, however, yeah, this, however, isn't much to add if you're going one-two punch skill. Yeah, skill, you could, yeah, the soup. Like I said, the supers doesn't matter yeah, what you pick. Yeah, but I rather go for a shorter charge uh, just because of the blind, uh, blinding. Yeah, the storm grenade, and our and our grenade of choice is basically storm grenade. Hey, yeah, because we could just use our thru uh, thrusters, and we just get me, and then we just get a faster ability charge, and then our grenade or melee gets an increased damage uh, for using uh, for using thrusters. Here's, or even charges faster up to two times up to two times Thanks ladies and gentlemen heart of the storm I will say in my opinion And, and that and that's pretty much it hey, in terms of in terms of weapon mods well in terms of mods well if you wanted to go overboard you can go you can go with stasis if you want yeah, go with stasis if you want, although that does sacrifice your... Although that does sacrifice... Uh, his, uh, my... Uh, my radiant light. Uh, but overall, I would rather go through this one. I would rather go through my arc, uh, my lion's pride one. And just build, and my build revolves around the mythical class. Yes. But there will be, but there will be future builds too, and that's pretty much it. Hope you guys enjoy this build, and as always, later.